Hey y'all, um, welcome to my kitchen. It's Debbie. How are you doing? I hope you're all having a blessed day. I'm not going to be cooking today, but I have requests for a homemade jerk marinade. And from, from one of the groups I'm in in Facebook, so I figured I will just make it for you guys also. Now, I ha I'm going to use my, I normally use my neutral bullet, but I'm going to use my blender today. Don't ask me why. Sometimes I just like to go with the feeling I have. Inside the blender here, I'm going, I have these, um, whole pimento cloves. I'm just going to put a bunch in here. I'm not doing any measurement, please. You can make as little or as much as you need and save it in the refrigerator in a nice glass container. Here I have, this is um, fresh ginger. And then I have a bunch of, of green onions here that I've already washed and clean. So let me cut them in like two small cut them in bunches and put in here. I have a small onion that I cubed and then a big bunch of fresh thyme. I, I, I kind of sort of chopped them. Oh, here I have some garlic cloves. I forgot to remove the covering from the garlic clove before I get started. Please forgive me. I was trying to not take up too much of your time. That's a very large garlic right there. I'm not making much because for one, I don't... I don't have much garlic, I gotta go shopping. Um, here we go, it's another large garlic clove I'm putting in here. So, so far in the pan I have fresh ginger, I have whole pimento, I have green onions, I have green thyme, and I have an onion, a small onion that I cubed. And I have fresh garlic. Now here's the scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to put two of them in there. And I'm going to use the seed of both of them because the people around here tend to, to have a thing for spice. So I'm using two scotch bonnet peppers. Here I have a, um, oil. And then I'm going to put low sodium soy sauce. cider vinegar. This helps to keep it in the fridge for a while too. I've kept my um, marinade in the fridge up to two weeks, if not a little longer. Now, I think that's it for that, so we're going to blend this up. Okay, don't tell me that plug is not working, so I'm going to have to move. So let me, let me pause and then we move. That plug is not working. Okay guys, so I got the blender to work and I, I pulse I pulse up my um my homemade jerk marinade. Let me grab a spoon and show you the consistency of this marinade. Here we go. Perfect. Now someone messaged me on Facebook and told me that um usually she buy the store bought jerk marinade and I I can't even describe exactly what she said. But from what I understood from her message is she's just seasoning her meat with the, with the marinade. But you can't do that. You need also your dry rub in order for your, your meat to be flavored. So what I normally do is I'm not, gonna, I'm not cooking today, so I'm not going to do this. A bowl like this. No, first, here is my dry jerk rub. And this has in it salt. Brown sugar, I'm a fan of this coconut palm sugar. So it has brown sugar, it has black pepper, it has um, poultry seasoning, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and of course, all spice. And I have garlic powder, you know, all the regular seasonings you use for your meat with the all spice, nutmeg, and cinnamon they are a must so this is the ground um rub here so if i'm gonna cook what i would do is the the jerk marinade i just made i would put whatever amount i need in a bowl like this 
and mix it with some of the jerk, the dry rub. And this is how you season up your meat. But the, the marinade alone is not going to give your meat that flavor that you need. I will have this listed on my website if you miss anything. And that is debbydoyle.org. I will have the link at the bottom of this video for you. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. You have a blessed and fantastic day.